All right, welcome aboard everyone. This time we're headed south on the ESCO Roadshow. We're headed down to the Alabama Power HVAC Training Center for the A-Care Conference. Let's go see what's happening in Alabama. The Alabama Power HVAC Training Center is located in Jasper, Alabama. The state-of-the-art facilities provided training, professional development, and continuing education for over 38,000 participants. All right, thank you all so much for joining us at the 2023 A-Care Conference brought to you by Alabama Power and Bevel State Community College. So we are learning about all of the new opportunities for HVACR professionals. And one of the things that Alabama Power is bringing forward is their mobile training labs, which are going to be advanced weatherization trainings brought to the schools of Alabama and to contractors and to community organizations that are looking to learn more about weatherization opportunities and how to properly perform weatherization. And what does it do for a structure? So we appreciate you joining us and thanks for joining the ESCO Roadshow. Alabama Power, like many other educational facilities, adapted to digital temperature scanning because of COVID. So once we pass through our initial inspection, we run through our classrooms, which Alabama Power sponsors a lot of classes for contractors and educators in Alabama. So we're here for a variety of classes from industry professionals. But what is really cool about this facility that you may not think of from a utility company is they have one of the most advanced heat pump training centers that I think I've encountered so far, as well as training departments specializing in water heaters and heat pump water heating technologies, as well as sheet metal classes and a really cool geothermal training department. So a lot of new and emerging technologies that you don't always get to see in a conventional classroom right here in the heart of Alabama. One thing I have the utmost respect for at this facility is the amount of care and time that has been invested into installing acrylic panels on the equipment so we can actually see what's happening on the inside. Such a cool thing to have. All right, thank you all for joining us. We're hanging out at the A-Care Conference here at Alabama Power. Mark Gallier, how's it going today? Doing, doing well, doing well, thank you. So one of the things that we're seeing a lot of is education for advanced building sciences and advanced weatherization. And so you guys are kind of at the forefront of teaching weatherization. Yeah. And you've got this really cool whole house display. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what we are doing here in this scenario? Absolutely, absolutely. This is a what we call the House of Pressure. Okay. Uh, it's a training prop uh, that's uh, manufactured by Community Housing Partners out of Christianburg, Virginia. Okay. And they've been doing weatherization training and building science training for many years. And uh, Anthony Cox, I want to give him some credit for sure. This is uh, beautiful. For developing and building this. Yeah. It's a, it's they really a did a nice tool. job. Um, it allows us in a classroom environment to teach building science fundamentals right. and all of the things associated with weatherization. And Airs, show it. Show it, yeah. and demonstrate it. Um, then we can do uh, blower door testing to uh, simulate uh, finding air leakage sure. in, a, in, a, in a structure. Uh, we can do combustion appliance zone uh, oh, demonstrations. Wow. Yeah. Kind of show what the effect is of the different pressure pressure changes uh, on different areas of the, the zones yeah how definitely it combustion appliances and backdrafting and spillage and those kind of things so okay. there's a lot of different things we can do with this and and uh, we have a little duct blaster set on the back uh, that we can simulate the duct uh, uh, building simulate the pressures tests. sure yeah, yeah. so uh, we just we can run it I'll go ahead and turn that on yeah let's do that see. I'm very curious here it's a lot of fun and you all know that I love doing my woodworking, so as soon as I see a bunch of oak <laughs> put into a yeah, live demonstration of something that is important for the HVACR industry, yeah, you're right up my alley. Yeah, you can tell a lot of time and uh, a lot of time and thought oh, went into this. Oh, absolutely it did. And, uh, Anthony does a great job on these. I'm not going to turn this up real high so we don't get a lot of noise. Sure, but, uh, absolutely. I turn it up a little bit so we get a little bit of negative, so we're depressurizing the, the prop just like we would a, an actual house. At home, yeah. And uh, we actually have a little damper, yeah so we will. can show some changes show of some pressure changes on the pressure. structure oh show yeah wow to the attic yep. you can actually see those those uh those flows the effects of, flows of it go up right the effects of the pre on the pressure of the building okay and so we're able to open and close those and simulate leakage and show what happens 
and when we seal things up and when we don't. We can also do zone uh, pressure zone, zone pressure testing in the house. Okay. There's a little door on the other side and on this side as well. We can actually close these doors. Oh yeah. We can isolate sure. those rooms. Did you find that over there? Yeah. And, and uh, we can watch the pressures to kind of tell where in those uh, where in the house those. So we can those, actually pinpoint our leakages. Place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can yeah. also simulate. You know, doing some checks that we would do in the field. Oh, uh, smoke test. Use the smoke yeah, test. Hey, all right. Yeah, so we have a little serious wind wind indicator, and we just provide a little smoke. And so you can see we're depressurizing. So you and can start see, looking for our actual seepages. Looking where those leakage areas sure. are and identifying those. We can use also use hoses and go inside the space and find those where those openings are and just kind of simulate what we would do in the field. In a real-world scenario. In a real-world scenario. So we can also kind of show them what happens as we start sealing the house up like we talked earlier uh, we start air sealing we can watch that pressure go up and our flow go down so right less air leakage as we seal the house up which is what the we goal want to do. We yeah want to seal, seal it up absolutely and we can also see the effect it has on the combustion appliances before and after we do the air sealing so if we open these back up and we turn our fan off and we'll kind of open some of these sure passages these bypasses open and put my hose back in and then we can create a little bit of a all right so we're simulating like our fireplace running the fireplace yep. which i assume has got a fan to do some draft changes and you can see sure a little bit of smoke look at that isn't that pretty cool that yeah. is very cool <laughs> i love this so then we can light the fireplace go ahead and turn the water heater on yeah we can see how the effect of air sealing or before the air sealing changes the combustion the sealing, process worst case mm -hmm. depressurization in the yep, house absolutely we start turning on some exhaust fans I'll turn on a little kitchen exhaust. Oh yeah. Okay. I see it lit up here. See some a little bit of changes uh, in flow, change in pressures yeah. in the house, and creates a little backdrafting on the fireplace. Oh, be darn! And Look so, at that. And so far, the water heater seems to be drafting okay. But mm -hmm. as we start to, to change the pressure up, in the structure, you know, then as we do that, then it can create some issues with. Oh our, yeah back dressing on our water heater depending on where that zone is located so absolutely we turn on right now it's not back drafting or causing any spillage on that so we go ahead and turn some more fans on kind of create yeah some change the case, pressure a little bit more depressurization yeah. yeah got the kitchen running got bathrooms running so we have so now you see a dryer back up and we might oh, even wow. start getting a little spillage on that water heater okay so what a beautiful example yeah. so we can actually show the effect of, of the air sealing of the combustion zones uh, how everything interacts with everything else you change one thing it changes something else and so we have to make sure that as we go through and do the air sealing process we test before we test after right. make sure that we're not causing any problems as we go through that process if it does we have to address those in yeah. part of the weatherization process. So we have to put some ventilation, some some combustion air, uh, possibly uh, whatever it takes to make the, the, the house safe uh, once the yeah. once the project's complete. So there, it's just a great tool to be able to it's very visual all of those different building science fundamentals, mm -hmm. and lower door testing, duct leakage. We we can run the run the actual. Uh, we have an HVAC blower that simulates a airflow movement. So yeah, we can create duct leakage and show how that affects the pressure in the different parts of the house and in the combustion zones as well. So okay. we can do all those different tests and uh, demonstrate it in a classroom. Then we can go in our, our labs and we can reinforce that. Absolutely. So this is actually on. mobile, so you can take it with you to do trainings if it need is. be? Yes. We wow. Can, we can package this up. We can carry it uh, to different training locations okay. and, um, and use it in our classroom training. So it's a great tool. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. We sure appreciate Thank you joining us. And uh, you. thanks for the education, right. Mark. Yeah. Thank you. To go along with the hands-on demonstrations that the students would actually perform after they have went through all the classroom content and went through a lecture in front of the acrylic-faced home so they can see things in action, we also have the luxurious, and I mean luxurious, mobile training facility that is fully functional 
and has built in automations so that we can actually control situations within this module. So, a fully functioning educational facility. So as you can see, this is quite an impressive training facility. Under the main roof, there are 53,000 square feet with an auditorium, five classrooms, computer labs, and several laboratories. The building is equipped with a heat pump lab, a dual fuel heat pump lab, a geothermal with water heating lab, a mini split lab, a brazing lab, a simulator lab, a demonstration house, and a duct fabrication lab. And the facility features 52 new trainers and 17 portable split system trainers for tasks such as rewiring electrical systems and repiping refrigerant systems. There's also simulators with internally metered devices to reflect time and proper troubleshooting procedures to measure the participant's ability to repair potential problems. The training center staff has even modified the units so the participants can address virtually any technical, electrical, refrigerant, or air related question. I even seen some electronic expansion valves out there in those labs, by the way. In addition, the center conducts classes on proper procedures in areas of load calculations, duct design, right suite, ductboard fabrication, and blower door and duct blower testing, as well as Alabama HACR contractor exam review. EPA Section 608 Review and Testing, and NATE Review and Testing. The facility offers the most current equipment, supplemented by hands-on, performance-based training. So, all that being said, I absolutely enjoyed my trip to Alabama Power to see the training facility. Learn more about the Alabama Power HVAC Training Center at alabamapower.com and go to HVAC Training Center. You could also call them at 1-800-634-0154. And thanks for joining us on the ESCO 